Hello everyone. Today's question is about mixed jars and proportions. A coffee blender mixes six parts of type A and four parts of type B. If type A costs 72 shillings per kilogram and type B costs 66 shillings per kilogram respectively, at what price should he sell the mixture in order to make 5% profit? Give your answer correct to the nearest sense. So the question tells us that the types of coffee were mixed in six parts for type A and four parts of type B. So the parts here should help us in determining the ratio in which the two types of coffee were mixed. So we have type A mixed with type B. So type A was in six parts and type B was in four parts. So we can also agree that the ratio in which the two types were mixed should represent the masses. So for type A, we can consider that six represent six kilograms, and this one also represent four kilograms. Remember the question requires us to determine the price that the mixture should be sold at in order to make 5% profit. So we need to, first of all, determine the cost price of the mixture. And the cost of mixture per kilogram will be obtained as, so we take the cost per kilogram for type A, which is 72 shillings, times the total number of kilograms, so that is 72 times 6. And for type B, we have 66 shillings per kilogram, and there are 4 kilograms. And then we'll have to divide that by the total number of kilograms, and that is 6 plus 4. 72 times 6 plus 66 times 4. From my calculator, I'm able to get a total of 696. And then on the denominator, we have 10. This should give us 69 shillings and 60 cents per kilogram. Now remember, the question is, at what price should he sell the mixture in order to make 5% profit? So here we have the cost price. But in order to make the profit, we say, if 100%, that is for the cost price, is represented by 69 shillings and 60 cents, how about 105%? That is, if you make a profit of 5%. So here, when you cross multiply, you will have 105 times 69.6 all over 100, and that becomes 73 shillings and 8 cents. The question required us to give our answer correct to the nearest cents. So with this, we come to the end of this question. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.